How are we looking? <laughs> Man, I should do this more often. I look good. All right. Hello, people of BookTube. Dane here, and today we are doing the Punk Rock Tag. <laughs> Punks do that? Is that metalheads? I don't know. Let me just fix my hair. Let me, let me spikes going. Before you ask, I am wearing eyeliner and nail varnish, and I did apply it myself because I am a big boy, and my guitar is here because it's kind of punk. Yeah. So this is an original tag that I created because nobody has done a punk rock tag. I'm not massively punk myself, as you can probably tell from my voice. Although I guess you wouldn't tell from looking at me. I don't really look like a punk. I look like a... I don't know what I look like. I'm pretty sure this isn't real leather as well. I don't know. It's my girlfriend's. I am vegetarian, so hopefully it's not. Let me just... This thing's really long here. I'm not used to having, like, props. So there are 11 questions. Each of these is based on the lyrics from a punk song. Some of them are pop punk because, you know, you got to represent I am a child of the, you know, 1990s, early noughties, so pop punk, pop punk. However, that's not the point of this. Really, the point of this is books. I have some books. Oh. You will notice here that there are sliders with the questions on as well. I've actually linked below to a Dropbox if you want those sliders. I'm pretty sure we can get away with the small amount of copyright infringement from them. I don't know, I don't monetize, so I'm not too worried. But, I, you know, they're sped up and all that stuff. We'll be fine, right? So, yeah, if you want to take this tag, then there is a link below to those sliders. And also, I am going to tag 10 people at the end. What is going on? Now I look like a peacock. So this one's quite an obvious one for me, I mean, one thing I should say is all of these questions are open to as much interpretation as you want for them, but for this one I have gone for J.R.R. Tolkien, The Fellowship of the Ring, and the reason for this is various people, like Galadriel for example, she's an elvish queen, so yeah, she's a queen who ain't no human being. But equally you could actually interpret this as a double negative, because a queen who ain't no human being is a human being. So basically the question is just name a queen. Alright, I feel sad about this one being my answer, but I have had to go for A Game of Thrones by George R.R. R. Martin. Obviously the character I'm going for is Hodor. Hodor is pretty vacant. We haven't discovered why if we're only reading the books, but if we've seen the TV show, I think we know what happens and why he is a little bit vacant. So it's kind of, you've got to forgive him for being a bit vacant. He just sprung to mind as soon as I thought of this question. Let me fix my hair again. I mean, William Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet. I feel like a lot of these questions actually point to specific answers, but you can interpret them as we say, so. And this is my first tag. I'm trying, look, I've punked up and everything. A lot of people recently have been doing like, uh, they've been doing booktube while wearing a jacket. And that's the, the thing is, you're, you're being a refined gentleman wearing a jacket. You stop pinging. So that's the thing is to be a refined gentleman wearing a jacket. And now I've rocked up. Like this. So yeah, Romeo and Juliet for pretty much obvious reasons. I mean, they fell in love with someone they shouldn't have fallen in love with and it all went horribly, horribly wrong for them. I'm not going to spoil the ending. <laughs> As if you haven't read it or seen it performed or both. I saw a midnight matinee of Romeo and Juliet on my birthday. So it started at midnight and finished at 3am under the stars. It's lovely. This one is really easy, it's Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. I hated this book and after reading it I did need to be sedated. Not because I was so thrilled that I needed to be sedated for my own health benefits, but rather because I felt like my brain had already been sedated and the rest of my body hadn't caught up with it yet. So yeah, this definitely made me want to be sedated. So for this, I'm going for Will Self, The Book of Dave, and I have things to, to talk about with this book. So, 
basically the book of Dave itself is about this London cab driver called Dave who writes this book of like wisdom to pass on to his son and then that wisdom gets lost and then it gets rediscovered kind of after this cataclysmic global event when the earth is no longer even recognizable and they start to treat his bible as like a holy book even though a lot of it is literally instructions on how to get from one part of London to another really quickly and I read this book for London in Literature at University but what's really interesting is that I know a guy called Dave Ford here in High Wycombe who used to be a cab driver um, back in the day and he was writing a book and while he himself never gave Will Self a lift he has friends that work for his company that did and they used to talk to passengers about Dave writing this book so it's entirely possible that the idea from this book is actually about my mate Dave Ford So for this I've gone for a rant by Chuck Palahniuk, or Paulinik, or however you say his name. I'm so punk rock, I don't even care, man. And this actually fits this question really well. I don't know if rant is necessarily a passenger, usually he's kind of a driver. But um, the entire book is kind of, he, they are the night timers and they do things like demolition derbies and crashing cars and all this stuff. And so, you know, yeah, he's a passenger and he rides and he rides through the city's backside. Yeah. I mean, this has got to be Philip Pullman, Northern Lights, my favourite book of all time that I always mention. And that Todd, Todd the Librarian, you still need to read this book, so get on it. It's in America, it's called The Golden Compass as well. The movie was terrible, the book is fantastic. Favourite book of all time. And I have held this tight and got teenage kicks through the night. Back when I was a teenager. We're on to the pop punk. We are on to the pop punk. This is the only book that I don't own a copy of because, I mean, I don't want to waste my time becoming another casualty of society by reading it. So this is The Bells, and I don't even know who it's by. Hey Google, who wrote The Bells? Edgar Allan Poe wrote The Bells. Not, no bells with an E in it. Yeah, so I don't want to read The Bells by Edgar Allan Poe because it's getting a lot of hype at the moment. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I saw James Chatham did a review of it, and he had uh, he was talking about how um, he doesn't like to see gay characters being used as cannon fodder, and I totally agree with that. Quite often it does feel as though a character, like a gay character, is kind of been written in as a side character purely so they can die, and apparently that happens in The Bells, but equally, I don't know. It's just one of those booktube books that I just don't really give a damn about. I'm too punk for these mainstream books, man. All right, this one really does show the more you suffer, the more you really care. I have read the Oxford English Dictionary. Now, admittedly, I kind of skim read it. So I went through and I looked at all the words and then I checked up the definitions, basically if I hadn't heard of the words, kind of as a goal to improve my vocabulary as a writer. But equally, I actually worked on a project that's never been published called the Lexicologist Handbook, which is basically a dictionary of weird and obscure words. So as I was going through this, every time I found a word that I could use for my dictionary, I basically robbed it and then left them with all the common ones. Yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend reading the Oxford English Dictionary because it takes a long time and it's kind of boring. And I don't know if I did learn any new words. So, <laughs> but you know, the more I suffered, the more it showed I really cared. Oh, well, this has got to be this guy. Surely it's got to be this guy. Holden Caulfield. He is definitely a melodramatic fool, neurotic to the bone, no doubt about it. I wouldn't be surprised if he went to a shrink who analysed his dreams and said it's lack of sex that's bringing him down. And then if he went to a whore, she'd say his life was a bore. So quit his whining, cause it's bringing her down. It all keeps adding up. <laughs> oh, I, didn't, I didn't plan for that bit, but that bit made me laugh. So we're going for Kit Kats Can Read, because I mean she's got blue hair and tattoos. 
We're going for Aoife from Fred Weasley Died Laughing. She's got red hair and a piercing. We're going for Todd from Todd the Librarian, just because Todd is a badass. Then we're going for Plots and Points, who isn't necessarily a punk, but I think he has a bit of the punk rock mentality. He's certainly not mainstream in his approach to books and reading, and I think that's fantastic. We're going for Madman Reads and Rocks, because, I mean, obviously, this tag is, like, made for him. Then we're going for James Chatham, who, again, is probably more of a metalhead than a punk. Then we've got Chrissy Books and Berries, who I think she's got a little bit, little bit of that punk rock mentality as well. And then Graham Quigley, because Scottish... Punk. Then we're going to tag Read or Rot, because why not? And finally, I'm going to tag Peachy Fishy Books, and I would like both of you girls to do this, and both of you to dress up as punks, I guess. Why not? Um, but equally, if you see this tag and you want to do it, please do take it, because, I mean, the thing with tags is they die out if people don't take it. So I've tried to tag a nice little variety of people who I think will really, you know, want to take this tag. But equally, if you want to take it, please do take it, because then, I don't know, it just helps the tag to live and grow and to reach more people. So yeah, so that is the punk rock tag. I'm losing my voice, which is very punk rock. And um, I might even, yeah, go for a lie down now. So anyway, on that note, thanks a lot for watching. Hit a like if you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a comment to let me know. Let me know whether you enjoy the songs that have been mentioned as well, which one your favorite song is. And uh, feel free to let me know answers of your own and which of the books I picked you like and all of that stuff. And in the meantime, thanks a lot for watching. Please hit subscribe for more videos if you haven't already and I'll see you soon for another one where I may or may not still have black nail varnish on. This is gonna really ruin the continuity of my pre-film videos, isn't it? But oh well. In the meantime, I will see you soon. B bye. <laughs>